Uh, my name is Nathan Carr. I'm the academic advisor for the athletic department. Uh, my degrees that I have is a uh, bachelor's of exercise science with a minor in human resource management and my master's in sports management and marketing. Okay. Why did you choose these positions? I chose this position originally for the aspect that I want to stay in athletics. I started my originally outside of college, I was a coach and then had the opportunity to move into academics, which I took up wholeheartedly. How long have you been working in this field? Uh, at ASU, I've been here for a year come January. Um, prior to that, I was a coach for two years in America and then about four years in Australia. Was it hard to adjust to the cultural differences in this job? Uh, it's one of the biggest ones to get used to because in Australia there's no college sports. So originally in Australia you go to college to get your college degree and so you don't actually do extracurricular activities so you get done in half the time. So when you do that it kind of changes the aspect of what you're going into and how you go about it. So it's a little bit different but it's good. Why did you choose to work in America instead of Australia? I chose to work in America instead of Australia to follow up on that was the fact that I wanted to get into college athletics. Um, because we don't have it in Australia, it was something that I was passionate about that I wanted to get into. And I came over originally as a student athlete, so I just wanted to stay. Do you think that learning international gives you further insight to the needs of student athletes? Well, being international uh, definitely helps because there's a lot of other international students on campus that need a little more hands-on work and so it allows me to know exactly what they need or how to go about it when it comes to visa processes and I-20s and meeting all the NCA rules and regulations. It, there's a lot more to it than just most uh, American students. So. Why did you choose the degree you did to get into the academic side? Uh, originally the degree I took was mostly to get me on the athletic director tra track rather. Um, but funnily enough, I ended up in academics, which was a good, good change, but uh, it's something I'm definitely enjoying. It was, I was unsure that I would enjoy, but after starting this position, I really do. So. How do you advance in your position as an athletic advisor? Uh, often this position is a lot of lateral movement. You can move from one university to another until you get to the position which you want to get to. Other aspects is when coaches such as, we'll say, football um, and their academic advisors go to, to another university, often they can take other staff with them. So they might take the academic advising staff with them and often that can cause you to get a promotion easily through that work. What advice would you give to someone who's going into your position? I would definitely say be open-minded because there's a lot of people that learn several different ways so you need to be aware about how to adapt and change. Um, especially there's a cultural difference, there's also an age difference. Uh, something that might work for a senior is not going to work for a freshman. Um, and another aspect of it is you also need to be aware that um, you're not only dealing with students, you're also dealing with teachers and parents and coaches and compliance and the NCAA. So there's a lot of people that you have to deal with when it comes to this job, but it's enjoyable. So as long as you keep an open mind and uh, a social in that aspect, you'll be fine. Okay, thank you. Pleasure.